the scroll. Love it or hate it, we all do it. And on TikTok, it's easy to scroll for hours, going down rabbit holes from dance trends to tutorials to just plain weird. So come to my live and comment, fix my teeth. It's one of the most popular and some would say addictive social media apps in the world with over 1 billion users. Gen Z prefers it with nearly 6 in 10 teenagers who say they use it daily. When you become addicted to TikTok, check my social media, yeah. to see who loves me online. While TikTok has become an outlet for creativity and inspiration, there's a darker side too. I haven't been okay for a really long time. And I continue to talk about systemic oppression and black mental health and how people in the society don't give a about people who look like me. There's a growing concern about how the app impacts the mental health of black Gen Zers, especially since research shows black teenagers are more likely to use TikTok. 81% of black teens use it compared to just 71% of Hispanic teens and 62% of white teens. I was just on the app a ton and I was on it for hours and hours. 23-year-old Jerome Yankee left TikTok in 2021 because he says scrolling was taking over his life. I prioritized TikTok over sleep and that was a, was a, a red flag for me just to be aware of. I was letting social media and the content other people were putting out affect me personally and physically. Before deleting TikTok, Jerome had dreams of going viral for his comedy videos. But over time, he started noticing something disturbing. It was all-nighters. It was sacrificing my body for TikTok. It was sacrificing my time. It was sacrificing, you know, my experience with my friends for TikTok. What makes TikTok different than other apps is the For You feed. It's an endless scrollable stream of curated videos that TikTok thinks you'll enjoy. Their recommendations are based on a number of factors, videos you've liked, the type of content you create, accounts and hashtags you follow, and most importantly, how long you watch each video. It's infinite, you know, you can just keep going. There's no, there's no particular endpoint. Each piece of content is short enough to where you don't really feel like you're consuming that much. So you can keep going piece after piece. Studies show the danger is in TikTok's algorithm. The app pushes self-harm and eating disorder videos to teens within minutes of joining, according to a new report by the Center for Countering Digital Hate. Researchers set up accounts posing as 13-year-old users interested in body image and mental health. Here's what happened. It recommended body image and mental health content every 39 seconds. Within 2.6 minutes, TikTok recommended suicidal content, and within eight minutes, it pushed videos about eating disorders. I think it's important that we understand that when we look at the mental health challenges associated with these social media properties like TikTok, that much of what young people are dealing with is this exposure to already traumatized information. Dr. Nicole Turner-Lee is a senior fellow at Bookings Institution and studies biases in social media algorithms. She says the problem with TikTok lies in what the users are exposed to. When you start to think about things like eating disorders, racism, classism, uh, beautyism, and all these other colorism, they all show up in some way on TikTok because communities are formed based on the algorithm. TikTok is owned by Chinese company ByteDance, but it's important to note that the algorithm for the Chinese version is vastly different, promoting science and culture content, and it limits users under 14 to only 40 minutes a day. As a therapist, I have witnessed uh, the dangers of overconsumption of social media and just being uh, granted access to a lot of the things that come with social media, specifically TikTok. Shaheem McLaurin is a licensed therapist and social worker and has more than 472,000 followers on TikTok. If you are not a Black person who can easily be fit into a trope, it will be very hard for you to be successful on TikTok, but in life in general. He's seen firsthand through his clients how social media can be used to build community and used for harm. Kids are, have a lot more access to 
toxic stories, uh, bullying, harassment, racism, you name it. These kids are being shown these things and these things are being pushed on like black children specifically. Suicide rates for black youth is increasing faster than any other demographic, according to the CDC. Black children under the age of 13 are twice as likely to die by suicide compared to white teens. I think it's also important when we think about black teenagers. Our teenagers are in a crisis right now. They're in a state of dilemma. A crisis underscored by the U.S. Surgeon General's advisory that black youth face a higher risk of depression and stress due to the pandemic and the recent racial reckoning over police violence against black people. In the wake of George Floyd's death in May of 2020, black creators complained TikTok either removed or hid their videos about the protests happening across the country. TikTok admitted a technical glitch affected the Black Lives Matter and George Floyd hashtags, making it seem like they had zero to few views, even though the hashtag had over one billion views. Beware that there are people who support Black Lives Matter alongside white supremacists on the same platform. But at the same time, Black creators have come out and felt censored on applications like this. Bro, I am sick and tired of this censorship, TikTok. Anytime I go online speaking facts, bro, my live gets banned. What violation did I get? Whenever you get banned, it tells you the violation you did. So what did I do? Why is it blank? They don't tell you this when you start content creating, but this shit is so hard. And excuse my language, but it's so hard. And I'm so exhausted. And a lot of my mutuals are being bullied off of this app. Timmy Tope Abasoy blames algorithm bias for content not reaching her more than 99,000 followers. I stopped posting for a while just because of the fact that like, I was so tired of like putting out content that wasn't pushed out to the people that I fought, that wasn't pushing out um, to my For You page or to followers. Because we spend so much time making content and we don't see any like reward for our labor, that could also like be draining and be depressing. TikTok denies allegations of racism and censorship, and in a statement, emphasized that the platform is working hard to support Black voices and causes. Nevertheless, Black TikTokers say they still feel excluded on the app. I would not say that TikTok is a safe space for Black creators. So whereas we see all this hateful, extremist, homophobic content that actually shows up on TikTok, we also don't see the balance where there are imageries and stories and suggestions from Black content creators who often feel shadow banned, right, from these uh, technologies because their content is not floating to the top. 